our adventures in Paris have come to an end. This is our last sunrise here in Paris. And then we are headed to the train station and we are going to Dijon, France. We found our train. This one right here is our train. And we are taking it straight to Dijon and we are the first stop. And it's supposed to be a fast one. We were so excited to get on a train and see the French countryside. We had spent a total of eight days now in Paris and we hadn't seen anything else of France other than when we came in from London. So we were very excited to take the two hour train ride from Paris to Dijon so that we could get a glimpse of what the true French countryside looks like. We are here in Dijon, France, and we have less than 24 hours, so we are going to get started exploring right now. This is incredible, and this isn't even the gargoyles. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful town. rooftops here are very similar to some that are in a little town called Bone, which is about 20 minute train ride from here. We were actually going to go, we even booked train tickets, but we decided we just don't have enough time here in Dijon, so we're gonna spend the rest of our time here. There is a beautiful hospice, and I'll pop in a few pictures of it, that has incredible tiled rooftops like that. We're following the sound of the music. the gargoyles. You guys, I was not kidding that we came to Dijon for the gargoyles. When you hear somebody mention Dijon, France, you are almost definitely going to immediately think about Dijon mustard. But there is something that I was much more excited about seeing in Dijon, France, and that is their Notre Dame Cathedral. And the reason why is because it is covered in gargoyles. There are over 50 gargoyles on the cathedral. It is from the year 1230, and it is a medieval masterpiece. I saw him poop. I saw him do something with his arm. Oh, look, he's hitting the bell. We have been told by quite a few people that Dijon is incredible at Christmas time. They have lights throughout the entire city and it's just a magical French European experience at Christmas. Are you happy? Just came fast. It came yeah, very fast. I am excited. I picked this place because I saw someone else get Thanks. served a salad. It's I know like, there's goat cheese. I think like this paper. is like goat cheese. And that's ham. Mm. And that's like prosciutto. Thanks yeah. Man. It's gonna be delicious. And then this is probably the most traditional like meal for us. Jesse got a burger and fries. 
and I got a salad. When we go out to eat back home, this is kind of like what we do a lot. Sometimes you just need a little taste at home, right? We're gonna have some proper French food tomorrow. All right, the verdict is the salad was delicious and Jesse was over there making all kinds of noises. So I finally was like, what's going on with that burger? I need a bite. Show them what's on it. Oh, cheesy melty grilled onions and the most seasoned delicious patty ever on a soft Kaiser bun. So anyways, I had to have a bite. He cut me off a little bite and I am not knocking him anymore for choosing a burger because that was delicious. Okay, I just placed it. It's like French onion soup in a burger. That's what that tasted like. French onion soup, so good. The goat cheese is soft on the inside. And I don't know if this is just fried goat cheese that they wrap it in, or if this is actually some kind of a, I don't know, pastry shell. I don't know, but it's delicious. It's really, really good. Unlike the majority of this 30 day trip in Europe, we don't have a lot of plans for Dijon. We're just gonna walk the old town, check things out and hopefully have some really good food. One of the reasons that I love visiting Europe is because of the architecture. And Dijon has very interesting architecture. It's a mix of a lot of different periods, including Gothic and Renaissance. And so many of the houses that people currently are living in are from the 18th century or older. That's just something we don't have back home. So it's really beautiful to see it. I want to thank Fuzzy for sponsoring today's video. Being a pet mom is one of my most favorite things on this earth and one of the things that gives me so much peace of mind about my little buddies is knowing that they are taken care of. Being a pet parent is a huge responsibility. Since our little buddies can't talk with us, we try our very best to understand what's going on with them. But sometimes not knowing what's up with them or their health and not understanding why is one of the greatest challenges of pet parenthood. And this is where Fuzzy comes in. Fuzzy is a telehealth service for pet parents that offers 24-7 access to personalized pet care from veterinarian professionals. You can chat with them about anything that you are concerned about. It doesn't matter how small. Their live chat and virtual vet consultations are available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They can help recommend the right products for your pet. They can even help you get your pet on just the right diet. They will help you finally figure out what is making their breath smell that way. Nothing is too big or small to give Fuzzy a quick call. Right now, Fuzzy is offering all of my subscribers a free seven-day trial membership. Go to yourfuzzy.com slash left coast to start your trial today. Again, that's yourfuzzy.com slash left coast for your free seven-day trial with access to 24-7 personalized pet care and vet-recommended products. Can you say goodbye, Lorenzo? Say bye. Say bye, baby. <laughs> And another thing that Dijon is famous for are the terracotta tiled roofs in the beautiful geometric patterns. So there is so much more to Dijon than just the mustard and we just saw the tiniest little glimpse of it on this trip. Hopefully we can make it back someday where we have more time to really explore the city. This is little Italy, look at that. But we're going to the real Italy. So we're gonna look for French food. We found our corner in Dijon, Little Italy and antiques. So cream brulee is gonna have to wait. We're going to the antique store. found another antique store here. I don't know if this one's open or not, but we're gonna go check it out just in case it is. Some sweet chairs in there. There's an Eames chair. The antique store was a little too fancy, so we're coming over here to check out this little park area, and then we're gonna go find our creme brulee. 
Bon appétit! Mm -hmm. Wow, this looks incredible. Look at that sauce. Ooh, we're gonna have to dip some of the bread in the sauce. And then they also gave us some Dijon mustard, of course. And then after this, we're sharing this meal. And then after this is the creme brulee. This is incredible. The meat just falls apart, look at this. And this sauce is so thick and rich. Oh, I haven't even tried any of the potatoes yet. You just punched it? Don't punch no, it. No, if I just broke it before you got a chance to, to film go. it. I'd still love you, but I might shed a little tiny tear. It is our last day. Whoops, it wasn't me. It's our last day in France, and we're finally having our creme brulee. What if it's not hard? There we go, there we go. Here, help me break it. It's actually not that hard. No, like, no. Yeah, it's not really that hard. But that's okay. It'll probably taste good. Sure looks like it's gonna. Bon appetit. Verdict is, it is absolutely delicious. Kind of even better than it looks because sometimes they put little fancy things on top to make it look prettier. Sometimes less is more, people. Okay, let's do it. Dijon has been a really good experience. It's a much quieter town than Paris and the pace of life here just seems a bit slower, which was kind of nice because we were exhausted after so many days in Paris and we had a lot of fun here just exploring the town. We ended up pretty much just walking the streets with no agenda and exploring the city. The old town is pretty much completely walkable, which is really nice if you stay in a hotel that is near the old town center. You can just go out for dinner and go explore exploring and check out all of the sites. And a lot of people might have thought we came here for the mustard, but we actually came here for the gargoyles. When I saw the cathedral that had all of the gargoyles on it, I was sold. I knew we wanted to come to Dijon. Unfortunately, we didn't make it to the little town of Bone. I really wanted to see the old hospice from medieval times, but you know what? Sometimes not everything has to get fit in and you can't see everything. So we ended up just spending the whole 24 hours here in Dijon and it was amazing. So now we we are off to Switzerland, so we're gonna go get our train and I will see you guys in Switzerland. I think I might have gotten us bad seats on this train. Everyone else is down there. And then it told us to come right here to our end of the line. End of the line, back of the train. Hopefully this works. Hopefully we're in the right spot. Mm -hmm. 